Hey everybody, Dorian here, and today we're gonna be doing um, a video of Would You Rather. Uh, now this is something I like to do once a month, cause I fucking love it and it's a lot of fun, and I get to answer questions that I enjoy answering and are usually pretty fucking crazy, so. Um, without further ado, let's get started. Would you rather have no tongue or have no teeth? I would say have no teeth because then I could always wear dentures and get cool little vampire or werewolf dentures. Werewolf and oh my God. I'm so excited about this idea that I s couldn't even pronounce it. But werewolf dentures with little fangs and I could cut through stuff with them. Just ah, be cool. Would you rather be black in a white neighborhood, be white in a black neighborhood? Not answering this question. If your parents had to give you one punishment, would you rather live without your phone or live without your computer, iPod, and clean clothes. They are really selling the importance of of a phone. Because this question is basically saying your phone is worth your computer, your iPod, and your cleaning clothes, clean clothes all together. That's, no, no. I mean, I would put phone and computer at the same level, and that's it. That's it. Okay, so obviously I'm going to go with I'd rather live without my phone because I can still function with a computer and clothes and I guess an iPod. What the fuck am I going to do with an iPod? Oh, so I can have portable music. Um, I can function with all those things and not need a phone. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't even like having a phone. I don't like the, the, the idea that we constantly have to be in communication with, with each other. Like everybody has to be in constant communication with everybody. If you don't reply to somebody's fucking Facebook message, all of a sudden you don't give a shit. I don't like that notion. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. If I, I, I just don't. So I'm gonna go live without a phone. Good. Most people also answered that. Um, yeah. If you had, if you had superpowers from an unknown origin, would you rather allow the government to experiment on you or not allow the government to experiment on you? Okay. So this is after you already have the powers, right? Um, so after you already have powers from some unknown origin, would you rather allow the government to exp who in their right mind would answer allow the government to experiment on you do any of you guys know anything about superpowers or sci-fi all they do is cattle prod you forever or make it worse and you go fucking insane and turn into a villain um worse if you don't allow the government to experiment on you, on you like you have superpowers you don't need to know why the fuck you have superpowers but chances are you'll find out eventually anyways because if this goes any way that any superpowered hero goes some villain with some similar power will eventually pop up and you will figure out where the fuck your powers come from eventually you know it, it, it only took goku 22 years to find out he was an alien um so i'm gonna go not allow the government to experiment on you go cool. I'm so basic with my answers, apparently. Would you rather die on the Hindenburg, die on the Titanic? Titanic. Easily die on the Titanic, and here's why. So, you're on the Hindenburg, right? You're like, oh yeah, this is cool. Bam, up in flames, you didn't really get to enjoy it, now you're dead. Titanic, you get to you get to wine and dine, you get to, you know, have a good meal, have a good dance, have some good sex, and then slowly, you know, die rather than get on the Hindenburg and boom, you're dead. You didn't even get to enjoy shit. You didn't even get to enjoy shit. There's a reason cruise lines still exist and we don't have Zeppelins. Would you rather get $20,000 worth of jewelry or get $20,000 or $10,000 worth of electronics? I'm gonna go with get $20,000 worth of jewelry. And here's why, because I can sell it. I can get $20,000 worth of jewelry and be like, I don't know what to fucking do with all this jewelry and then sell $10,000 worth of that jewelry, <laughs> spend it on electronics, and bam, now I have $10,000 worth of jewelry, $10,000 worth of electronics. Problem solved. Look at me, solving problems. Would you rather always wear a top hat, always wear a giant clock necklace? So would you rather be Flav of Flav or Abraham Lincoln? I'm gonna go with good old Abe. <laughs> Who are the 31, who are the 431,000 people that were like, you know what? Flavor Flav's got it right. Let me get one of those giant clock necklaces. You know how bad that is for your neck? Would you rather only have a first grade education or live in a world where everyone else only has a first grade education? So would you want to be a genius amongst idiots or an idiot 
in general, genius among idiots. Because, <laughs> 69, um, because you're gonna be the, you're gonna be the smartest person. Simple as that, you're gonna be the smartest person. And yeah, the whole world as a whole is dumb, uh, but you're smart, so who gives a shit? Would you rather live to be 120 and accomplish nothing notable, live to be 50 and be well known for world changing accomplishments? Uh, live to be 50 and be well known for world changing accomplishments, if I had to choose. Um, one of my biggest fears in, in life is not to die, but to die doing jack shit. If I can make some real change in the world or be remembered in some way, and die young, that's better than living forever and, you know, outliving everybody I love and watching them all die and then also not accomplishing anything meaningful. Like, that just sounds fu fu like fucking torture. Um, cool. Wow. That, I, I was actually expecting it to go more the other way because I, I imagine a lot of people are more afraid of death, but maybe I guess not. Would you rather sport a keychain nipple ring? <laughs> or have a wardrobe that is made up of outfits worn by Scooby-Doo characters. Those are so fucking different. Sport a keychain nipple ring. <laughs> you have a nipple ring that is also a keychain. Or have a wardrobe that is made up of outfits worn by Scooby-Doo characters. So I'm gonna go with that one. Cause they actually wore pretty decent clothes for the time. And having a keychain nipple ring, like, you'd never be able to take your shirt off with that thing hanging around there. Never. Never, never. Would you rather be horribly and hopelessly depressed or um, have inescapable, overwhelming anxiety? Well, I already got that, so I'll just keep it. Would you rather be killed by Jason or be killed by Ghostface? Ghostface, because he'd be like, what? <laughs> oh, I love Scream. Would you rather take a cold shower every day or... Take only hot showers just once every two weeks. Well, I mean, this is, this is gonna sound gross, but I'd rather take only hot showers once every two weeks. Like, I'm gonna smell like shit, I'm gonna feel disgusting, but uh, I, I mean, I know, logically, I would get used to cold showers. And it's a more hygienic option, and it's the one I really should take, but I love hot showers, and if I could never take a hot shower again, like, ugh. Break my heart. Break my heart. So I'm gonna go with that one, see how many people. Wow, okay, I'm disgusting. Would you rather go on a magic carpet ride with Jasmine, take Cinderella to the ball, magic carpet ride with Jasmine? Who the hell would pick Cinderella over Jasmine? Like, I mean, come on, really? It's fucking Jasmine. Look at those titties. Would you rather marry at age 10 or never marry at all? Um, I'm gonna go with never marry at all because the idea of being married, of anyone being married at the age of 10 is fucking terrifying. What the shit, people? What the fucking backwards ass cousin fucking 19 or 1650s Europe shit is this? What the fuck, man? 53% of people would rather be married at age 10? Like, you haven't even gone through fucking puberty yet. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Would you rather string your opponent along for the entire fight or crush them from the beginning? Depends on the opponent. Depends on the opponent and how much you hate them. Um, I will say now, I like, this is gonna be kind of sadistic. I like the look of, I, I like when, uh, when opponents, when like villains and things like that have their entire self-esteem and ego just completely shattered. Like the look on their face when they realize how fucking worthless they are. Like they're all high and mighty. The more high and mighty someone is, um, the more I'd go with string your opponent along for the entire fight versus crushing them from the beginning. Um, but it also depends. It depends on what happens after, right? If they're all high and mighty, like, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, you're nothing. And you just beat the shit out of them, like, so quick, and then just let them suffer. You just let them sit there and, and soak and bask in the idea that I'm a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit who thought I wasn't a piece of shit. And then you just watch them slowly rot from the inside as their entire self-worth ceases to exist that that's how you beat somebody ah. would you rather be dangled over the edge of a cliff or be forced to public speak well considering i'm on a fucking camera uh on the internet for everybody to fucking see i'm gonna go with be forced to public speak because it's basically what i'm fucking doing um you know minus the public but i don't have a problem with public speaking so uh and i'm terrified of heights so wow okay a lot of people are more afraid of heights 
uh, or possibly dying than they are of talking to other people. Which is good. Would you rather cut off six of your own fingers in one foot or bring Hitler back to life as a killer invincible robot zombie? <laughs> a killer invincible robot zombie. Well, that's the end of the world. So would you rather cut off six of your own fingers in one foot or let the world end to crazy robo Nazi zombie Hitler? Why is that so close? Why is that so close? Do people forget what Hitler did? I feel like people are forgetting what Hitler did. All right, here we go. This one seems crazy because it has a lot of words. Would you rather kill five innocent children by yourself? Kill five innocent children yourself if it would end all bloodshed in the Middle East for 25 years, or have ongoing wars, terrorism, and fighting in the Middle East. So basically, do you want to be Anakin Skywalker? Kill five children. Innocent children by yourself if it would end bloodshed in the Middle East for 25 years. And this is like one of those classic hero decisions where like they're they're like pitted with these two options by some crazy villain. And it's like kill these people, let these people die, um, and save all of these countless people, or let all these countless people die the way they would die anyways, and save these five innocent children. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with have ongoing wars, terrorism, and fighting in the Middle East because you know what? Wow. Wow, that was a lot more one-sided than I expected. Holy shit. Okay, the greater good concept, right? You kill these five children to help the greater good, but you don't know that that's really going to help the greater good. Those five children are dead. You don't know what those five children were going to accomplish. You know, for all you know, one of those five children would have brought peace in the future. War is not going to stop. Killing five children isn't going gonna, isn't gonna to change anything. And even there, it says, kill five innocent children yourself if it would end all bloodshed in the Middle East for 25 years. That means that that moment that 25 years hits, cool, all those people are going to die anyways. It's not stopping all bloodshed in the Middle East forever. It's just for 25 fucking years. And then, you know, everybody goes and starts killing each other. And to be honest, probably a lot worse because those tensions have probably been rising for the last 25 years. Um, so that's my answer. I have ongoing wars. Um, so that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Um, this was a darker one than I expected, but it was fun. Um, so thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Later!